limited visibility, chaos, and disorientation. This is what the fog of war looks like, and this is what the Marines must work through to complete the Combat Lifesavers course. We had five separate teams go through and do a tactical sweep of a building, finding casualties, assessing those casualties, and bringing them home safely to a LZ or landing zone, and calling a nine line out, and getting these casualties uh, tachyvac out to a higher echelon of care. Here we get into more detail and we make sure that they know what they're doing. We ask them questions, we distract them to see how they will do in an actual live combat situation. No contamination. All 23 Marines participating in the course volunteered to be combat lifesavers, each of them having their own personal motivation for taking the course, both in and out of the Marine Corps. I'm hoping I'll be able to see some combat action one day, no matter what I do, whether I have to lap move or just stick around, see whatever happens, happens, just always have to be ready. I want to be a doctor and EMT when I uh, get out of the Marine Corps, so it's a ste stepping stone to help, help me get where I want to be. These Marines aren't the only ones with a personal investment in the course. Instructor HM3 Miller, who worked in the medical field before joining the Navy, believes that past life experiences bring essential awareness to the table. When I was still a civilian, uh, I, was, I was driving and I witnessed a car accident. I had a young seven-year-old girl who uh, ended up having a broken femur because the um, car got crushed on her left side and I had to get her out of the car and I had to help stabilize and split it until the 911 responders got there. And Dealing with a patient that young, it's very, very hard and very, very difficult. So the more serious you take it, the better care you give, and I ended up saving that girl's life. The purpose of a combat lifesaver is to provide first response medical aid in the event that a corpsman is injured or preoccupied with another casualty. This means that these skills can be utilized anywhere, at any time. Anything when you're in combat can happen. We were going through patrolling and they had an IED go off, and we had to take our casualty and treat him and take care of him and remove him into a safe uh, area. And then we went in and worked on all the other casualties in the, in the building. So you never know what can happen. You always have to stay on your toes and be ready. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Corporal Fariza Ali.